here, here's the situation. Because of the bad weather in the last, I don't know, six years, they had, they had to push all these jobs, especially all these solar installations they are doing. They cannot work on the roof when it's raining. And now basically everything is delayed. So Jake from PowerMate Electrics told me last night they are, they are still planning to come today, but only with one person. So they won't send the full crew today. They, they still have a backlog of jobs they need to attend to. I mean, that's fine. That's totally fine. As long as someone is coming and starting today, I'm cool. Also, look at all this mess here. Look at this. Remember yesterday when I was on the roof with the leaf blower and cleaned up the roof? I pushed all the leaves and dirt from this roof over to this side. And while I was doing this, there is this little gap in the top of the ceiling here. I mean, there's shit everywhere here. <sighs> and I've still got plenty of work to do here. I've um, recabled the combiner boxes last night. I moved the two bars here further apart because before they were very close together and there was only like 15 millimeters of gap. And I've done the same on this combiner box as well for the west roof, for the new west roof. So I still got plenty of work to do. Also have a look here, east roof, west roof zero, 540 from the shingled panels and 110 from the pool fence. This is all I'm getting. This is all I'm getting. I'm also charging the vehicle. And we are still on over 80% state of charge. So if it takes three days for them to cable some solar panels here, we will have more power than again. So battery is large enough, should be totally fine. <sighs> Let's clean up this mess. Where do I start? So we have now finalized here this combiner box for the east roof, for the new east roof. Positive goes out here, negative goes out here to the solar charge controllers. And these will all be the single strings. Number three, positive, negative, four, positive, negative, and so on. Hopefully the electrician brings four more of the fuse holders here so we can connect them. I've got all the cables prepared. Everything is ready to go. And now we have enough space between these two bus bars here as well. And space for a surge diverter. If we want to go down this path at some stage. I made this little pocket here with sticky tape, so save me from getting out the vacuum. Just two new solar charge controllers shot up in the mail. Victron sent them out to replace the existing ones, the 15070s, because the ones I have, they are faulty. They sometimes don't charge, even there's enough solar input. And apparently this is a known issue with the hardware. I have told you about this in a previous video already. So they raised an RMA ticket and sent out these new ones here. Look how handy that is, because now I can measure. And you need to make sure it's all straight on YouTube videos. Now I can measure all my cables, drill the holes, get these cables length up, crimp the ferrules and well, then we have to wait for the 15070TR can. And then I can replace these ones, these ones with these ones. I'm not sure how this works with the history in the VRM. Because I have, um, I have these ones here in place for quite a while now. And I don't want to lose the history of them. Okay. I need to do some Googling. So, I've got them both mounted now. And I can now see exactly where the holes need to be in my ducting to connect to these terminals here. So this makes it a lot easier. And we have one ready. Uh, the, the cables are not screwed in, they're just so I get the right length. So there we go. Ta da!
we now just have to wait for the new solar charge controllers to come in then we can mount them here and here okay then for the electrician's sake let's replace the solar charge controller because he's, he still hasn't showed up yet it is already afternoon One point six volts, zero on the solar. Who would have thought? Oh, don't forget the VE direct cable. There we go. Okay, gone. Should I keep these cables without ferrules? I have crimped ferrules on the other solar cables now, on both sides. But the existing ones didn't have one. So, see the 25 millimeter ones? They are almost double the length of these ones. Here we've got bare ends of this cable here. I haven't used any ferrules on um, these terminals, on these cables. Because, for two reasons. Victron doesn't recommend it. And B, it gives you more contact area because these terminals are super super deep here they are pretty much yeah i'm not sure why victron is actually not recommending ferrules i'm not a big fan of this bare wire here into a terminal even this is a squishy a squeeze terminal here so it's more like a clamp yeah, look at this wow yeah and then when you close them you can see the bottom plate actually gets pushed up against the top plate and then the cable gets clamped in between but um, I'm still not a fan of that so I really should get some 16 millimeter double length ferrules for these cables and then I replace them replace these ones again with longer ones Okay, and this concludes the swap of our solar charge controllers. And I really, I really, really need the electrician now because everything else is done. I've prepared as much as possible now. So now we need the solar panels and connect them to the new combiner boxes. Get all these fuses in there and turn this shit on because I'm down to a 60, 65% or so. And the Hyundai, here, the, the two Hyundai panels and the solar and the pool fence here, they just they don't bring it it's not enough it's not enough power i need more solar but i've got the um i've got the suspicion he's not coming anymore today i haven't heard anything <sighs> and tomorrow will be rain and thunderstorm i think we missed the window today to install these solar panels but it will be okay again on wednesday and thursday so <sighs> maybe not tomorrow either i don't know Maybe they are coming tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Who knows? Well, there's nothing we can do apart from waiting. Yeah, I wouldn't be aware of any other task we could actually prepare until they come. No, everything is done. And until then, I have to use my emergency charging. Well, better than nothing. All right, guys. See you then. Hopefully there will be the big video with the solar installation update coming, coming tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. If not, the day after tomorrow. Let's see. The next day.
Yeah, this shot took me a while now because I had to had to put the ladder here on this big set, set up the camera here in this corner, then move the ladder back to the garage, climb on the roof, make my panic face, and then get the ladder back on this shed here, come up and pick up the camera again. And now I need a spot. I think, but as you can see, um, there are still no solar installed, nothing. It is day two now, nothing has happened because, well, today, It just cleared up this afternoon at about three o'clock. Sun came out again and from tomorrow it it is supposed to be sunny from tomorrow on, but who knows. But now we've got the situation again, all the jobs are being pushed. So they are still working on other jobs. They have to finish off first before they start over here. The battery is down to 50% and I'm charging the vehicle today because I need some juice for tomorrow to get to work. Okay, let's get down here again. And I need to clean this gutter, right? That looks disgusting. Oh, wow. And while we are waiting for the electrician, why not have a very, very quick look, a glimpse on the new Seplos BMS. Oh, that's the wrong box. That looks better. Yeah, nice packaging. That's the display. Display connection cable. Balance cables. Temperature sensors. And the display. And the display um, marking the display. The display sticker. Protection film sticker. Whatever you want to call it. Ooh. Nice and shiny. Actually, it looks pretty much the same as the old one, I would say. <laughs> I cannot see any difference at the moment. I've got the balance lead cable connectors here, the the passive balance resistors. Seplos, come on, you can do better. Yeah, the shunt. Actually, it says here 300, can you read this? Let me see if I can. There, you can read it. 300 amps, 75 millivolt voltage drop then. The bus bar connectors B plus and P plus, all our MOSFETs, these big fat diodes here. That all looks the same as the old one, right? And the other side has got, you know what I just missed in here? Exactly, the good old Chinese chewing gum. Got the big heatsink here, an inductor over here. And this one could be actually the R. Uh, that could be actually the Bluetooth module they put on. Uh, doesn't say anything, but I cannot recall having seen this one on the old BMS. But I might be wrong, because this is the first Seplos BMS coming with Bluetooth. So they have already sent me the app, and they said the iOS version will take another four weeks until it comes to the uh, what is it called? The App Store, Apple Store. But I've got the Android version from my phone already here. Yeah, and then we've got the RS-485 connectors down here and the CAN bus connector on the left. So nothing has changed here. Even they are saying now this board can do both RS-485 and CAN, but there's only one connector because these are only for internal communication, right? They connect to the next BMS. So I guess we can now change the functionality of this port here from CAN to RS-485 in the software. And also the dip switches have apparently no function anymore because this is all software regulated. Oh, I think even the board recognizes now the master and the slaves automatically. Yeah, something like this. Uh, we've got our LEDs for the state of charge, an error LED and an activity LED, I think. And here you can see the label again. Model 48 volt, 150 amps. 1101, don't know what that means. And this is the E10 version. Now you can see it, E10 it says, brand new. And this is from 2022, October 04, at 157 produced. Is this AM or PM? <laughs> Passed all the tests. Have you also noticed that these BMSs have a little battery here? Is this a rechargeable battery? It doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, it could be a rechargeable battery, you can't tell. I'll find out and let you know. Yeah, this is pretty much 
the first glance of the new Seplos BMS 10E.